Well, welcome everybody. Here is Dark Evil. So um, yeah, let's interact a little bit with the squad mates that just saved my ass out there. Okay, later when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. What's up, Commander? Glad Liara's on this. If anybody can sift through a mountain of boring stuff to find that one critical clue, it's her. Hey, Shepard. Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. She is there just for the, you know, status, for the drinks. Hey. I don't know if these notes are new, I don't think so. But, yeah, well, whatever. You never asked me about this, but... My wife just called. My ex-wife. Nobody likes to talk about the toll that long months apart can have on military relationships. She wasn't military. She couldn't handle it. But it's not even about military and non-military, dammit. It's space flight. Space flight. Finding the mass relays, miracles of engineering. Human imagination rising to meet our desires. We pay a price for that curiosity, that drive. Our relationships suffer. People we love suffer. But that's reality. And it's worth the cost. I must have thought it was. I guess I still do. In the end, you just have to hope you made the right choices. I think this is new. Not sure, but I believe so. The Normandy? A brand new ship. Ah, okay, it's not that new. You don't forget that moment. The first time you're standing there. The whole crew looking to you for direction. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? Had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? Shepard. Well, I don't care if she's on the market, she's too dumb to me to huh, become interested in. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. Hello, Shepard. So, what was it, Shepard, five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in, unless the bad guys look in the window. How's it going? Yeah, like almost everybody's here. Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> I still got it. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. Commander. I don't get the joke, uh, Javik, but you're grounded. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. Sure. I'm glad you made it out of that ambush, okay? None of us saw that coming. But lesson learned. 
Never have dinner with Joker. It won't end well. Exactly my point. It's Joker's fault. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. I think maybe you get shot too much. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, Art. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No, but the truth is boring. <laughs> Hanar prostitute, I, I can't even imagine that. Khan didn't sound friendly to whoever that voice was. Maybe he'd pass on that info to us. That would take some extremely smooth talking. If he sees you, he'll probably assume you're looking for revenge. The casino has a panic room. Chances are he'll have gone to ground there. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast veron leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a chorus back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No. What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? That's the plan, Brooks. Get whatever you need and be ready. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required.
Right, so um, I assume that I can select, I have to select someone to, to join me in that um, party. Just I don't know if uh, I shouldn't have rushed uh, for this mission to be done or completed at the moment. I don't know. Whatever, let's do it. Looking good, Shepard. And you? Those are dress blues? Yes. The downside of a militaristic culture. Humans have a speed in variety of form wear. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a Reaper while it fought a Thresher Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax, Brooks. Right. Okay. On it. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? I'm here, Shepard. Edie and I will keep in contact in case we're needed. Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Garrus. Time to meet the riffraff. So here is the, the cool part. Um, you know, you can select everybody from your squad and... Um, it should be really interesting to see them in a normal outfit, you know, in an elegant one, like <laughs> my buddy Garrus here. It's very, it's very fun. Why, hello, love. Isn't the turnout amazing? I wasn't sure anyone would show up. We pull together when we have to. I feel so bad for the humans. If you need a place to stay or anything, you just let me know. I have a place to stay now, but thanks. So you had nothing before that? Oh, how brave of you to endure, dear. The humans are so resilient. Like that phrase of theirs, stiff one in the lips? Stiff upper lip. Right, of course. What did I say? Commander, I'm upstairs by the grate leading to the shaft. So push my tour of the camp from 1 o'clock to 3, move from 3 to 5, and we'll find 10 minutes to eat something. So, to sum up, tomorrow starts with the Help a Dream Foundation, then it's Blood Drive, Refugee Camp, and Hospital Tour. Hmm. Sounds like you turned pro. I try. Ms. Rios believes we have an obligation to the less fortunate. Of course. So how are you liking the party so far? There's a party? Hmm. <laughs> Come on, come on, Tiger, do it, Tiger. Last? What the fuck? Bullshit. Baron racing live from the pits of Tachanka. 
Well, actually, they're change. You know, you, you see the names: Izun Rank on Rinko, Tuna Fish Dog, Bolsley, Sisek Biscuit, Biscuit. <laughs> I think I'll pass. Come on, Tiger Bite! Bring it home! You got a lot riding on him? He's my boy. Picked him up at his shelter. Whoever let him go had no eye for racers. He can outrun anything he can't outfight, and outfight anything he can't outrun. What are the odds on? Enough to pay for my kids' tuition. All right, let's check uh, Brooks. Hi, Elspeth Norain. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Are you a citizen here? I've had bad experiences with politicians. Who hasn't? That's why I'm running. I got sick of leaders with ties to terra firma or Cerberus or worse. Oh? The ward needs refugee facilities. It needs security. It needs jobs. It needs everything. And hopefully, with a friend like Elijah Khan backing me, I can make it happen. What are you having? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Cassian Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also Asari. They kick like a shotgun. Evening. What's popular tonight? Well, some adventurous souls are trying to mine fish. It's what Hanar like to do instead of alcohol. Huh. I guess since they're mostly water, the dehydration would be bad. Right. So there's this fish with hallucinogenic skin oil. Gets Hennar buzzed right up. What happens if humans eat it? Way more potent. And it releases into our system slowly. Best to clear your schedule for the entire weekend. Interesting. What can it do for you? I'm curious. What's the craziest thing you've ever served up? Well, there's the Barak. That's a Krogan drink you set on fire, put out, then drink from the scalding hot cup. Well, there's the Weeping Heart. That's a martini with drow skin venom. The venom's pretty mild, though. Oh, wait. A Volus Bina. The alcohol puts you on the floor, and the ammonia lets you clean up the mess you made. If you live. That's why I don't drink alcohol. Alright, so Mary, there is nothing more to um, to discuss apparently. What's your connection to Khan exactly? He's a campaign contributor. Uh huh. You may want to do a background check on him. He's dirty. Like you can't imagine. Oh, not again. I can't believe this. I just got done returning donations from some terminus pirate woman. Was her name Arya? Yeah, and before that it was an Asari Spectre Tella something, and before that there was this Visar. Do I have a sign on my back saying exploit me? Well, you don't exactly come across as formidable. But I'm trying to fix it. I practice glares in the mirror every night. Good luck, Ms. Moraine. Alright, so more or less you have like uh, three times to speak with each other, which is interesting. Uh, you can learn stuff, you know, laugh a little bit. It's cool. Upstairs. Whenever you're ready. Evening, officer. Sir. So these hollows aren't just hollows, right? Real Varen are racing somewhere. Oh yeah. They set up a trap. Our pups eat. They bark. They need cleaning up. What's a pro racer eat? 
a special diet based on what they'd get in the wild, minus the radioactive crap. So what? Raw Krogan leg? Oh, man. My dogs would love that. Kind of illegal, though. Are there a lot of fights in Baron races? Only if something goes wrong. But I don't call my boy Tiger Bite for nothing. They throw at each other. You know, they grab and hold for dominance, but they don't actually break the skin. Sounds like quite a trick. Yeah, if I had teeth like that, I'd poke somebody's eye out. Evolution's a pretty amazing thing. It is indeed. Still upstairs. Rios, I feel like I should know that name. I did a little acting, then in the 70s during the Blitz, I was named Goodwill Ambassador for Refugees. So I guess this kind of thing doesn't really impress you? Me? No. For the people who can get clothes because you bought a ticket? Much different story. Ms. Rios, it's getting late and you have a full schedule ahead. Don't handle me, Noah. If I reach one more person before we leave, that's a family of four who can eat tomorrow. Reach how? The price of admission isn't the only help to give. If you drop some credits at the games, it goes straight to refugees. Have I told you today that you're beautiful, Ms. Rios? Yes, Noah. And I presume you mean on the inside. Ho oh, oh. ho! Punch in the nuts. Hello again. Siliana Aranos, by the way, and this is Lehana Parit. We're friends of Mr. Khan. Hi. Lee here encouraged him to have a charity night. She just about melted his heart. Uh, Mr. Khan doesn't melt, but I did show him it earned some good press. I need to try that roulette table again. There's a snotty human girl I need to show up. So, by the time the night is done, you'll have bought breakfast for every Batarian on the station. Hopefully you're running water instead. Have you visited their camp? The place is fragrant. Well, we can stop worrying about outdoing the human girl. Commander? I'm upstairs. I believe you can wait just a little bit more. I'll call you back. Potential client here. Enjoying the party? Like adrenaline in my heart. They're gonna have a fire breather on the bar later and shoot fireworks above the ward. Would fireworks even burn in a vacuum? It worked at New Year's. Whatever they did, it looked freaking nuclear. So are you Khan's lawyer? I represented the casino once. Brutality suit. What's Khan like? Intense. Scares the hell out of his staff. But every now and then, he does some charity, like this. Does that make up for it? If what I hear about him is true, not remotely. You ever think about working for someone a little more above board? Like who? The council is going to need lawyers like everyone else. You think I should defend the Citadel Council if they get sued? Who said anything about defense? <laughs> Kassar. Yeah, I remember this game from um, from the first Mass Effect. Upstairs. It's interesting. Yeah, Brooks, don't interrupt me, I'm talking to my low audience uh, S number. So yeah, it's a fun game. Um, I'm playing maybe later a little bit. So of course I can keep uh, talking, I can just go and speak with her because um, either way I believe I'll have to, you know, talk with people. But yeah, let's go first now. Dr. Dasoni gave me this to pass to you. 
It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. So because now I... To be said, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. Yeah, now I look like Geralt of Rivia. Yeah, showing some dancing skills. Look at this guy. Look at him how he's enjoying. Oh, you poor little... Whatever. Look at him. He's like a puppy. Stuff can put you down for the cat. I just lost a staggering amount of income. This puts things in perspective. Need a few credits for a ride home or anything? Oh no, it's not like that. You know about all those helium-3 facilities that are getting wiped out? I've flown by a few. Well, to put it in layman's terms, most of those facilities were mine. I don't think I introduced myself. Uh, Jonah Ashland of Eldfell Ashland Energy? Shepard. Pretty fancy night out for someone worried about his financial future. It was my daughter Aisha's idea. She's got a good heart, though she's going through a little self-absorbed state. You make it sound like she's troubled. My love for her is unlimited. She just gives me a lot of opportunities to prove it. But I'm pretty sure she can change. You don't bet against something like that. Not even here. Look at them all down there. Twenty years ago, you'd have never seen a shindig like this. Humans and Turians together like it's nothing. Council species all concerned about the fate of Batarians. Everybody trying to have sex with the Asari. That's not new. Just seeing if you were awake. So, all these species in one room? Yes. Nobody's afraid of each other anymore. If we win this thing, the galaxy's going to be a pretty great place. I'll drink to that. I'll try to save the galaxy so we can, you know, drink, leave, having fun. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omni tool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it. Is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and in we go. Act casual. This could take a while. So yeah, let's act casual now. I heard your advice is so good at psychic. So what's going to happen to me in the next few minutes? Disappointment. <laughs> Nuts. So this is Shaira, the consort. I didn't see her since the first Mass Effect. Interesting. Commander Shepard. Shaira. It's been a long time. My idea of a long time is different than yours, Commander. What can I say? I put a lot of living into the last few years. Indeed. Do you have any advice for me this time? When? Commander, have a drink. I think I once heard a rumor that you were leaving the Citadel. I did leave. Some so-called journalists made up stories about me. Because of their venom, I retired to a little colony in the Salian Nebula. Why come back? Because I knew people here, and they needed comforting. And because one does not flee the heart of the galaxy in desperate times. Not because of some scoundrel with a video camera.
Why, Commander, you keep coming over. What is a lady to think? I was wondering, how does someone become a consort? By understanding the minds around you. By displaying compassion in every direction. And then trying just a little harder, and just a little longer, than anyone who is not a consort can possibly imagine. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have a potential client to attend to. Yep, sure. Nice talking to you. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. Evening, officer. Sir. Come on, it's not my night. Not playing this again. Round and round and round she goes. What's that supposed to mean? Is that like code for how wasted I am? Uh, no. <laughs> we just call the real sheep. Wait, I mean objectivism. That's sexism for inanimate things. I love roulette. Every minute is more exciting than the next. Should I point out the flaw in that statement? Oh, are you like one of those detail people? Come on, even diamonds have flaws, but that doesn't make them less valuable. Miss, where exactly were you educated? Online. You can take these courses and it teaches you responsibility because you do the grading. Commander, I'm pretty much stuck until that card is gone. Of course, Brute, you can just wait a little bit. You, tough guy? Perfect. I need an opinion on something from a B-lister or below. Houses with retractable roofs. Still in or too common? Your house has a retractable roof? Only the one on the Citadel. I gotta take care of it since the one on Earth got all Reaper-fied. Instead of remodeling, maybe you could invite a few refugees to come stay. Oh, I am totally on that. But finding the right one is hard, you know? So many of them don't have agents. Can't stay away, can you? What can I say? I'm a masochist. <laughs> oh, no kidding! I'm a Scorpio! We'll get along great. I'm a masochist. <laughs> nice, no Shepard. I'm only maybe six meters into the duct, right over the base of the stairs. Excuse me, I think I saw someone doing drugs in the men's room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games bionically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, sir. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. <sighs> Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to come. I don't know, I think I, I stored everything already.
Interesting. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarn. The game, Commander Shepard, is hearts and minds. Care to elaborate? Most people in this casino are here for a good cause. Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it. So the honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. I'm debating whether I should report you to security. Oh, I like a good debate. Would you be so smug if I got you thrown out of here? Possibly. I'd like to see you explain my wicked motives right after you explain why you have a radio in your ear. Well, since I don't see you turning me in either, I gather you're no friend of Khan's. Khan doesn't have friends. Anyone who says otherwise is deluding themselves. So is Khan part of your game tonight? No, I simply sheer... No, what do humans call it? I fleece his guests. Then there's no harm in telling me what his weaknesses are. I've studied him. He's ruthless and rich, but not very bright. Temperamental. Doesn't deal well with the unexpected. He's also used to letting other people handle things he doesn't understand. Like his security. That's quite an assessment. Do I owe you anything? No. We do what we do because there are wrongs that need righting. The wrongs I address are simply pettier than yours. Then I guess we know where we stand, Mr. Quarn. Enjoy the evening, Commander. It was a little nice uh, chat here with this uh, Turian. It seems like... Uh... Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay. Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions and take down the sensors. Okay. So I was about to say that uh, apparently... I will. So apparently Roland Quarren is, uh, you know, um, he's a very clever guy. He, he knows about uh, who I am and, um, yeah, also why I might be here. Very interesting. Very interesting character. I'm at a junction. There's a camera and a guard. I'll just be here. Try not to cough. I'll give his attention. You say when. I think I spotted a man in the poker games with a card fabricator. Like a cheating device? Show me. That Garrus. Good job. Brooks, try it now. Checking the pressure pad. No alarms. Looks good. Follow the red wiring. by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. Ah, oh, uh, hang in there. A human. We've got Perfect. this. I'm kind of on the outs with my human girlfriend. Could you give me some insights? I'm at the storage room grate. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm. But you must stall him before he reaches Brooks.
Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What do you need? I'm sorry, are you with security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You... Enjoy your evening. You're clear, Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. To play the, the caster, this is the last thing I, I think that um, yeah, I have to do now. I can show you a little bit. Well, finally, some wins. back there? Well, I got my side. Yours is still on, though. We need to finish this before someone comes by. I can't get the security gate to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky, just so you know. Have a little faith. Yep, it is tricky. I'll give his attention. You say... Excuse me, I couldn't help it. Yes, sir. It is. Suspicious activity. My floor. A guard spotted me. If you act normal, hopefully he'll move on. You're clear. All right, let me let me think how I can do this. Alright, so I see Brooks there, I see this point here, and the two guys, and the cameras, holy f So let me just check their walking patterns so I can decide. about Solarian parties is they all do it too well I don't follow my lab group on Sir Kesh all Solarians but me and all with damn near perfect memories oh that could get awkward exactly it was all about who burnt the cake six months ago or arguments the two people continue when they meet up once a year so they never let anything go yeah it was constant one-upmanship I couldn't keep pace with them if I wanted to
Can you tell me who calibrates the odds on your machines? I never seem to get a payout. I'm afraid that's confidential, but I'd be happy to provide you a free drink instead. You have a good night now. Okay, we did it. Khan, I'm not here to threaten you. We need to talk. What the hell? And here I had this bad cop routine all planned. Commander. There's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You, I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy to trash talk me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave, I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Why do this? What did I do to you? I'm gonna take everything you have and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Hell of a party. Well, unless you were the host. Didn't end so well for him. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. Well, that was a really interesting um, moment in the story. Go on, recover to follow our lead. Nice. So, um, yeah, I'll be cutting the video here. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll continue on my next one. Like, everyone out.